Yeah, it's called Intro to Asian American Studies, and it not only encourages diversity and inclusion among students, it also includes compassion for other cultures throughout the entire world. All right, does that make sense? This may look like a typical class at UNM, but it's anything but the subject. Exploration, narratives, and history of Asian Americans, a first for the university. It allows Asian American students to see themselves in a systemic um, have a systemic, historical, cultural, interdisciplinary, critical understanding of their own identity. A lecture like this is rare, not just for New Mexico, but throughout the United States. So Farah Nusheen took matters into her own hands. So the way we went about it is just approach to uh, different departments because a department would have to host the course and the American Studies Department agreed. She also heads the school's Asian American and Pacific Islander Resource Center. It's been attempted before either the course or having some kind of Asian American Studies presence at UNM that has been attempted. And I think that this time um, there was a greater opening because of the center. One of the things around the Vincent Chin case was that around 20 students make up the class. I don't have to pull up my PowerPoint or anything because the questions and the way the students lead the course end up covering all of my material anyway. There's also a wide range of topics from migration to violence against Asian Americans and the conversations can be hard. One of the things that really helps with that is the song days and looking at cultural products like that. We had a really great day where we listened to a Ruby Ibarra song and we talked about the intergenerational trauma that Ruby Ibarra talks about in that song, which I think would have been a very difficult topic to enter otherwise. I can believe like um, my identity is going to be shared to the whole university. Students like Bethany Brundage are enjoying this semester. I think um, another reason is kind of learning about my own history. Um, so I'm actually adopted. Um, I was born in China and then raised in Oregon. And as she wraps up her time in the class, I think it's like pretty easy and like pretty empowering too. She's happy to see more understanding and awareness. Reporting in Albuquerque, Brian Albizu, KOAT Action 7 News. The class is so popular, the school is offering it again for next fall and spring, and students can sign up for it right now. And